Hey guys, welcome back to another Skullabus Tech Tip video. In this Skullabus Tech Tip, I'll be going over how to optimize your slow PC. Alright, so going over some of the software that I'll be using in this Tech Tip video. I'll be starting off with Pinterform Seed Cleaner and also Defragler. Then the next thing I'll be doing is msconfig to clear out the startup, then Windows Disk Cleanup to get rid of all the temporary files, an antivirus program like a BAST, Reva on installer to take off all the unneeded software and also malware bytes for the anti-malware. But the best way you can go for the malware and, vi and the viruses is just plain common sense. But it is a good idea to have them as a secondary because you may never know what's going to even happen. So anyway, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I'm actually going to be doing is to clear out the starter files. So just go down to your start, type in msconfig, then press enter. Uh, this may look a little intimidating, but all you need to do is go to the Startups tab. Then what you can do is just click on Disable All. Just make sure you have your antivirus on and some of the other ones you want. This will actually help with the loading times of Windows so you won't have to actually wait for everything to come up to even use anything. So I'm basically done here. I just got to enable a couple more things. Then once you're done, just click Apply. Click on OK. And you'll be prompted whether if you want to restart or not. I just click at exit without restart and just click on the little checkbox. And that will be one way of speeding up your system. And also, and will also actually lower the usage of RAM for the stuff down the taskbar here. All right, for this next section, I'm going to be downloading a utility called Revo Uninstaller. This is actually a, an alternative to using the uninstaller that is built right into Windows, but with Revo Uninstaller, it'll actually look for any leftovers both in the registry and also files. So let's go ahead and open up Chrome. Wait for everything to load up here. And yes, I now have a Tumblr. And there's my Facebook, Twitter, Tech Syndicate, and then Google. So let's type in Revo Uninstaller. Because they also have a free version and also a professional edition and also even a portable edition. So let's go ahead and get it from CNAP. Click on download now. Obviously you guys know how to do this. Yeah look, my friend Aaron is on. I right, go ahead and save. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this so I can get this installed. Alright, I've got Revo on it Revo on installer installed now, so let's go ahead and launch it. And we get a little prompt saying thank you for installing Revo on installer freeware. Alright, here's what it looks like. Go ahead and expand it here. Alright, you can go from you can change the different views from icons, list, and details. I'll go with details. This will also show you how to actually go about what you want to uninstall due to the size and other things, which is actually still scanning my uh, hard drive right now. Wait for it to load up here. Right now by the looks, the biggest file is Diablo 3. Your split cam. That's one of the things I'll be taking off. And then Rapider. And then PC Clone EX, which I don't even use. And disregard any background noise, please. As my roommate is doing some stuff before school. Or before work. But seeing I think everything has loaded, let's go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to uninstall is split cam, seeing as I am basically switched over to um XSplit or Open Broadcaster. I'll be using XSplit for my local recordings. I just gotta wait for everything to actually finish scanning, so I'll go ahead and Alright, never mind. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and click on uninstall. Yes. Now there are different modes you can do built in which will basically run the applications on installer without any additional scanning. You can use the safe mode which has built in mode for the um, additional scans in the registry and on the hard drive for any leftover items which is actually the fastest mode. Then there's moderate and then there's the advanced mode. I always seem to use the, the advanced so I can actually see what I am actually getting rid of. So let's go ahead and click on next. And of course the crane system restore point has failed. So let's go ahead and uninstall this. 
Yes, please. Uh, Man, we'll reboot later. And click on next, and then we'll also look for any leftover information, both in the registry and also the leftover files that were left from the uninstallation. Takes about a minute or two, depending on what you're doing. And I hear the toilet flushing. See, 290 items found in the registry. So I'll go ahead and select all, delete, yes, next. Then there's a few other leftover programs, just select all, click on delete. And then it'll finish deleting the files once the restart has completed. Just click on next and finish. The next one I'll be taking off will be the Clonex or wherever it was, and I can't remember where I actually put it, but that's how you use um, Reva Uninstaller, which is a excellent utility to use if you're taking off any programs and you know, basically eliminate everything both from the registry and the hard drive, so you will be able to free up about a couple extra megabytes. Let's go over to the next section. All right, for this next utility, I'll be using CCleaner, so I'll go ahead and open it since I already have it installed. Alright, here is the C Cleaner utility. Let me go ahead and maximize it. But there's a lot of different Windows applications you can clean out. In the advanced, I would usually stay away from that space unless you can go for it, but I just leave it as the default for a quicker speed. So let's go ahead and click on Analyze. Let's see what we have in line of good stuff. Go ahead and close our crumb because it will ask us to. Once we actually run the clean up, and my nose itches. So while I'm waiting, get me some water. Water is good for you, folks. And my famous saying, drink tea, not beer. Because tea is more nutritious and also tastes better depending on the flavor you get. Ugh, Windows Defender. Now, you see all that? Oh, I've also got a lot of stuff in my recycling bin. But you can actually free up at least 18 gigs on your hard drive, depending on how much gunk you have on there. So let's go ahead and run the cleaner. Click on OK. The next I'll be doing is the registry cleaner using C Cleaner. And that is to actually eliminate all the registry errors within Windows. But I usually run both the cleaner and registry cleaner at least three to four times to make sure it actually has cleaned out all the way. But I'll only do it once for the time sake of this video. Alright, next up, registry. Scan for issues. That bar is going to get very, very short, very quick. Not as short as I thought. Well, it has a lot of different registry errors. So we're we'll going ahead and fix selected issues. Click no. Fix all the issues. Close. Then you can just run it a couple more times and I'll find any more errors in the registry. All right, the next utility I'll be going over is the Windows Disk Cleanup. This, uh, which is an obvious one because it's the one built into Windows. So you just click on all, start all programs, accessories, system tools, disk cleanup. Go ahead and run that. This will probably take a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and pause right. right here. So coming back to the disk cleanup with the final results. A lot of it is the Windows Update Cleanup. <laughs> and then the User Error Reporter. So let's go ahead and click on OK to get rid of all that. I don't know why all the Windows stuff takes a lot of space up. So just from that running C Cleaner and Disk Cleanup, I was able to free up about 25 gigs on my hard drive, which is actually pretty substantial. And that's one of the problems you get with using Windows. Just with the errors and all the error reporting gunk, you end up killing about 5 gigs on your drive, especially when you don't have much space. Alright, that's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next segment. Alright, for this segment, I'll be going over malware bytes. Seeing I already have that installed. 
Uh, then again, maybe not. Well, where do you know? I actually don't have it installed. Oops. So let's go ahead and open Chrome back up. Go to Google. Gotta love Google. And of course, it's not supposed to be space, but it'll still give me the results I want. Alright. Go to malwarebytes.org. You can basically use any other anti malware programs. Almost an antivirus. Some of the other antiviruses that I like to use is it with me in saying antivirus and stuff, anti malware. But different anti malware software I like to use would be Super Anti Spyware, Malwarebyte, Spybot, and I think there was another one, but I can't remember what it was. Let's go ahead and download now. If it hurries up. Thank you. There we go. M BAM setup. But as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, your best antivirus and anti malware would be common sense. But it also doesn't hurt to have a second line of defense. This shouldn't take very long to go. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and disable the anti-malware pro. That's not needed. Let's just get that updated and ready to go. Shouldn't take that long to update. It only takes about a minute or two at max, depending on your internet connection. Now we'll go ahead and pause here until we get done. All right. So looking at the anti-malware user interface, there are three options we can go with just for the scans. We can go for the quick scan, which basically utilizes the system memory or just a way of doing a fast scan. Doing a full scan I would highly recommend because it will scan every single file on all the drives that you have selected and then there's the flash scan which only analyzes memory and auto run objects. So which is also only available to licensed users. So basically with the anti malware Bytes Pro. Just click on scan select the drive you want to scan, click on scan, but for me I'm going to abort the scan for the time sake of this video, but let it run its crash course and see what you can find. Now the next one I would go for is the antivirus, and I already have an antivirus installed which would be a vast, but some of the other antiviruses I would check out, thus including a vast, viper antivirus, bit defender, I also had decent look with CA but the best one that I currently like is a vast it is very lightweight on the um, operating system RAM and hard drive it's just overall pretty nice and it also streams all the updates so it really keeps everything up to date and also it has a built-in software updater and browser cleanup and you can even get a secure VPN if you sign up for it. so just go to security antivirus then just scan which I've actually started a scan but I decided to pause it for the time sake of this video. Alright the very last thing I want to go over is defragler. Now I would always I recommend defragging your hard drive last after doing all the uninstallation virus cleanups and just all that stuff. So let's just go ahead and get this up and running and I think I have an older version. Yes I do. So it's an older version but but just taking a look at hit this you can tell that I'm very low on space with only 70 gigs available out of 460. This is what I mean by freeing up at least 25 gigs. But just click on analyze to actually see how badly fragmented the hard drive is but you can also set up a schedule weekly for all of this stuff so you won't have to do it but I would recommend leaving your computer on for like a specific time of night but and by doing that you can have everything run in order just see how long each test takes to complete and then you'll be able to let it go on a certain night so you won't have to do it on your own time alright so overall for this tech tip video this basically shows you how to optimize a slow PC but it only works for a limited amount of time, so it's best to that you actually do this at least once a week. This is actually the best way yet that you can do for the best bang for the buck, seeing all the software I have shown is completely free. 
thus saving you quite a bit of money and saving you money from going to a computer technician to do the cleaning for you. Some of the other options that I could highly recommend that would help speed up your system is buying more RAM, a faster RPM hard drive, or even an SSD. But the cheapest way to go is basically how I did it now. Just do it at least once a week and all should be good, but if it doesn't speed up your system then you probably will need to either get more RAM, replace the hard drive, or maybe just get an SSD as you boot drive and also boot your programs off. And save the mechanical hard drive for extra storage for your pictures, music, and saved games. But anyway, if you have any questions about this tech tip, feel free to email me at scullabus at gmail.com. And uh, so follow me on Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash scullabus OC. And I now have a Tumblr, which is scullabus.tumblr.com. And I also have a Facebook page, which is scullabus. Just look it up. I uh, will have all the links posted in the description on each piece of software I have used. Don't forget to rate and subscribe to this video, and I will see you later on this week with more videos.